Hey guys, first things first, uh, we recently reached 400 subscribers on the channel, which I so appreciate everybody who's subscribed and everybody who tunes in and watches the videos every week. Uh, we're making progress, working towards that thousand, which is the goal. Uh, looks like I might get there in a, less than a year, we're hoping. Um, so thank you guys. I also wanted to let you know that since the video I posted about the YouTube changes, um, I actually did get to the $100 cap for um, ad revenue. So thank you guys also for, for that. It was um, really great that I'm going to be able to cash out even though I'm not going to be getting ads for the next foreseeable future. So no one actually requested this video today, but I thought that some of you might be wondering where my username came from. The underscore MH part is because uh, most of the people who know me online know me from myhogwarts.com, which I know I keep mentioning it, but if you're not familiar with myhogwarts.com and you are a fan of Harry Potter, you should go check it out. When I was setting up my YouTube channel's URL, it wouldn't let me only use Ganchi, so I threw on the underscore MH there, and it makes it easier to find my videos if you search for my username. So I went ahead with that. But as for the Ganchi part, that has a bit of a longer story. Someone on MH once asked me if Ganchi was Japanese. Uh, the same member actually asked me if I was a guy. Um, I'm not. And Ganchi is actually Spanish, sort of. Do you remember Juno? I used to have a Juno account, and this isn't relevant at all. I was actually 18 when I got my first Gmail account. It was my final semester of high school, and it's that age where it's important to flaunt what makes you different from your peers. And what made me unique when I was 18 was that I crochet. I had actually learned to knit by that point, but crochet was my first arts and crafts passion, so I chose the username Crochet Girl without an I. Obviously, Crochet Girl with an I was taken, and instead of coming up with something that didn't sound like I was 12 or didn't know how to spell, I chose Girl. But I'm a big believer in consistent naming over multiple platforms, so the name stuck. That was my YouTube name originally, it's my Twitter handle. So many of those websites that make you register before you can use them have that as my name. And so here's where we're getting to the point. This was my sophomore slash junior year in college. It's a complicated story. I was studying abroad in Madrid, Spain, and I decided to try NaNoWriMo for the very first time. And I loved it and got totally into it and definitely wanted to go to my first write-in. It was at a Starbucks in Madrid. And it was fantastic. I got to meet great new like-minded people, work on my novel. That was my first 5,000 word day. But I ran into a bit of a problem. You know the way you introduce yourself at meetups of online friends. Hi, my name is Rebecca and my username is Crochet Girl. Except that I was in Spain and this conversation was happening in Spanish. And somehow I thought it was important that they not only know what my username was, but what it meant. And the thing is, in Spanish, ganchillo is not a 100% translation for crochet. That and most of the people I was talking to really had no idea what I was trying to get across. Of the people there, no one seemed to mind what I did with my own yarn in my own free time. But the guy hosting the write-in, who has a real-life name which I have forgotten, but whose username was Excalibur, he was so great and I'm so grateful to him. Because despite the fact that I was this awkward little 18-year-old, and that nobody cared what my username meant, and that I was being so socially awkward, he gave me a nickname. In this foreign country, in this foreign Starbucks with all of these foreign people, he made me feel at home. Anyway, that nickname was Ganchi, short for Ganchio, and it stuck. I like a lot better than Crochet Girl, and so I've been using that as my everywhere username ever since, and it only made sense for that to be my YouTube channel name as well. So there you have it. If you've ever been wondering, what's a Ganchi? That's your answer. Thank you guys for watching today's short little video. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos three times a week, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.